Welcome back to another comparison video of Blender and Maya. We're just going down to our last two actual features, and that is rigging and composition. Now, what rigging is, that is giving objects a bone, in a way. And how we are going to do that is we are going to, first off, start with a cube. So we've got this cube here. We're just going to read it up a bit. We're going to go into edit mode. And we're just going to, like, I don't know, scale up a bit. Now we're just going to give this as much of this as possible. That'll do. Maybe we'll smooth it too. Let's just smooth that. Okay, and we're just gonna just refine these edges. Just be quick. This is just a quick refine. There we go. Just so we can make it look nice and smooth. Okay. So this is our. This is gonna be our character, should I say. Let's just put that to the. Create a cursor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in a bone. To do that is we're going to go down to here, to our add, and we'll go to armature. And we're going to start off with a single bone. It's inside the object at the moment, so let's just find it. And there it is. That's our base bone. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extrude this up. And again, extrude it up. And again, extrude it up. And again, extrude it up. And maybe one more, extrude it up. Okay. And there, this is just a very simple. And then we just go in here. And we're going to have to add these together. To do that is. We select our object first, then we select our bone, and then we go to Control P, and then we go with arms to form with automatic weights. And now, if I go into our pose, you can see that each bone will correspond with certain sections of the body. And this is our base, that's our base bone. It would have been easier if I had it at the top, you know. So I could just. Let's just bend that back a bit. And then I just. Yeah. <laughs> to some extent, this probably would be a great way to create certain custom text as well, whilst we're at it. But rigging in. Blender is quite can be quite a challenge depending on what you are actually putting a rig to. This is just a simple cube. For go for saying like a human character, you gotta understand human anatomy and understand how bones in a body works. <laughs> in order to smile, we are gonna try something the same thing in here with this cube, which is gonna scale that up a bit. And we're going to our attribute editor so we can create certain effects. Um, let's just say we're going to give that about 9, 10 there. About 30 there. And maybe we'll go another 10 for depth. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with this. Now bear with me though. This pro this is the uh first time that I actually make a rig for a um actual character.
we may need to go into our wireframe mode so we can see what we got. So this is going to be at our bottom. Bear with me, I actually got no idea. How to actually use a button system. Especially in, um, oops. Especially in Maya. This is completely new to me. This is, this is trying to settle this. Let's try, uh, okay, let's go control D. You just duplicate that. It might be easier. Let me just stick that on there. Oh, I keep pressing that. <laughs> right. I don't think there is a way. I've already got create joints on. But how I've done it, it's just. Not how I think it did. Well, that's the challenge with me. Oh, took my headphones off. <laughs> but if I only think, I actually think that when it comes to rigging, Autodesk Maya probably does a better job with rigging on the basis that it can control certain things in terms of skin and stuff like that you've got your skin so and with latest releases of Maya as well as movies made in Maya for example how to train your dragon 2 where they actually added in like muscle positions points into the rigging system so it makes it look more realistic Blender, from my understanding at the moment, cannot do that. It probably will at some point in the future, but from my understanding, I just don't see it. So, for rigging, because I can't do rigging in Maya, <laughs> I mean, I can do reasonable riggings in Blender because I can see these bones, but the way, my, um, the way I've been trying to rig this just didn't want to go for me. Never mind, never mind. But, yes. I do think that Maya's got a better rigging system. But both Maya and Blender's got an inverse kinematics. Kinematics, but I just think that Maya's got a better blend in terms of the bending of certain positions and stuff like that in comparison. As seen with most people who have used Autodesk Maya. And I have compared it with people who use Blender. And most people in Blender can't do what people in Maya can do. From my perspective that is. <coughs> and the last one we're going to go through is Composition. Now. From my understanding with Autodesk Maya. I actually don't feel that Autodesk Maya has a composition system which is where you actually can work on a actual scene and like tweak it a little. I mean the closest thing I know when it comes to rendering, let's just do a quick render. A quick render of nothing is you've got your aperture. And it's well, yeah, exposure and gamma, should I say? That looks like the aperture system symbol. But you can change these to how you want. You can increase light in, like how much light goes into it, and stuff like that. At the moment, I've got Arnold renderer set, which is okay. <laughs> yeah, as for in Blender, I know that when you go to here, just like with a node editor. You can go to here and you can use nodes and a backdrop. 
and you can add in certain features like you can add in a movie clip if you want to and you can change certain things like you can got your filters and you got your glares and stuff like that but that ain't all that it's got you get you also got a video sequencer you even got a movie clip editor and all that stuff and you can even go down to here and you can go to video editing so you can edit your videos here so all these things quite handy and um, and to top that off after you put all your video in blender together you can go to your node editor and you can just go and put your movie clip in and then make a composition out of it i know that from my understanding that maya does not do such a thing so for the final point which is composition i will have to give that to blender as most f people who use Maya or things like that generally puts their final works into softwares like Nuke, After Effects and other programs that has composition including Premiere Pro. So throughout these three videos we have looked at navigation and user interface, the timeline the frames per second and animation, physics in terms of cloth and rigid bodies, the usage, like the usage in the media industry, UV mapping, I was meant to do texturing but I ran out of time, <laughs> um, smoothing, rendering, the game engine, the support you get, the hotkeys, rigging and composition so with that on top i remember that i gave a point for navigation to maya timeline frames per second animation was given to blender <laughs> physics was also given to blender oh no my apologies actually it was actually given to maya because of realism In terms of usage, Maya got that point. UV mapping was Maya. Smoothing was Maya. Actually, didn't I give um give physics a tie? Yeah, I guess I give that one a tie. We also had um. Rendering for number seven, obviously with uh, Myers Arnold. Game engine was also also was given to Maya because of Stingray. Support was Maya. Hotkeys was Blender. Rigging was Maya. And composition is Blender. So on top of that, from what I have covered in this video series. Is notice that Blender out of the 12 got 4 out of 12. One of them is tied with Maya. And Maya's got 10 of the, no, 9 of the 12. Which is quite interesting. It, as I said in my first video, that I personally prefer Blender. I use Blender. I love Blender. But this is to be unbiased and based on basically my experience and what I've seen from others what's actually been seen out on TV and film and put it bluntly it's just I, I'm not a big fan of Maya the only reason I've got Maya is for tutorials for people and because it's in my it is in the aesthetics guidelines in terms of tutorials that we have to present all software or as much software as we can get and we will make tutorials of them just to help people get an understanding on how to use the programs 
this is an a tutorial video so what i showed does not necessarily mean that's what i am going to present in the tutorial videos this is just telling you and comparing the difference between certain features but overall from the looks of my points why you've got the uh would have got the fix for in turn of that but we ain't here looking to see which one's better it's all it still comes down to user preferences i just made a comparison based on my experiences and skill set and the and um and knowledge that i have read up on the internet from people <laughs> so this is lucas no from estates interactive studios this has been our comparison video and possibly we will end up making some Autodesk Maya tutorials in the next coming days. Thank you for watching.